it's it's me yep i'm back it's and hi this is my new camera let me introduce you to this lovely picture yes my phone is still not working quite right so my husband thankfully ordered me this lovely webcam it's the logitech c920 50 bucks better than a new phone hey anyway now that i'm finally going to be filming my first video for the year yeah kind of got behind there for a bit it's like i intended to take a few days off to start with but you know you break your camera you break your head <laughs> kind of a mess anyway i've got just a basic hooded eye look in browns on right now nothing special no big deal not too bad the next video that i do though is going to be a tutorial on using the same technique which works out really really nicely for hooded eyes but using a lot more and brighter colors yes colors now wayne goss who is another um influencer and has like bazillion followers and all that and is a professional makeup artist was showing a tutorial on doing this and i'm going oh hey look at how good those eyes look hey gotta try it and i've been playing with it for a few days it's not like i could film anything so you know i had to do something anyway this is my first attempt at doing an empties now i gotta tell you when it comes to actually doing a bin load of empty jars and bottles and stuff not happening for one thing uh one of my dogs miss lolly has a really really bad habit of grabbing stuff that's in bins to run away with and chew on i'm not keeping stuff in bins for her to go play with like that no not doing it however i have kept pretty much a, a list of everything that i've gone through so i'm figuring we can just go through the list a little bit and i can give you some opinions and whether or not i'm going to replace them with a um another of the same thing or if i'm going to try something else now my first empty that's on here is an elf foundation i had the foundation in warm ivory and i dearly love that foundation yes i will be replacing it but right now i've got four foundations sitting in the drawer over here which means the elf warm ivory is not going to get picked up anytime real soon plus i've got a elf porcelain which i discovered was far too pink for me but i use it to mix in with some of the other stuff when i've got something that just, the color is just not right and i sometimes use it for um priming my eyelids you know just i'm not throwing away perfectly good product i'm too cheap for that all righty my elf hydrating primer i love it it's the the one in the green bottle in case you didn't already have started to figure this out as i go through this list i love elf it is my thing um my hydrating primer which is the the one in the green bottle there's a repeat for you has been used up but what i'm going to do is i want to try the elf um pore diffusing primer 
because I've heard people say that it works kind of like the Tatcha silk canvas. Now, I won't be able to, uh, unless somebody, you know, sends me a sample because I'm thinking about uh, signing up for a couple, one or two of the subscription boxes. So, you know, unless I get a sample, I'm not going to be able to directly compare them, but that's fine by me. But I want to see what all the hoo-ha is about, you know, the, the, the different primers. And, yeah, we'll see how it works. If it's not the best, I finish it up. I go back to my hydrating primer. We're fine. Now, the next thing that I've got to replace is my, yes, ELF, eye primer. I love my ELF eye primer. It works beautifully on me. No, I'm not going to say that it's going to work beautifully on everybody because everybody's got a different skin texture, different oil levels, different dryness levels. Try it. It's not that expensive. If you hate it, you're not going to waste like a huge hunk of money like you do with some of the upper end stuff. Love it, but I'm currently finishing up a Wet n Wild primer for eye primer. Um... Now, the Wet n Wild, I like the Photo Focus Eye Primer. I like it. It's good. At least for me, it's good. Now, Allison Krauss, who's part of our little group, The Dirty Half Dozen, she had a different um, experience when she tr first tried the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer for her eyes. And I'm going to link that particular video in the description box so that you can look at it and go, ah, second opinion, alrighty, you get a little more information before you run right out and buy something, you know? My next empty is the Wet n Wild, see, I do do other things besides Elf, not much, but I do, the Finishing Spray the natural version. I've gone through a couple of these. Now, originally, when I started off, I was using the e.l.f. setting spray, but the Wet n Wild is a little less expensive, and I only have one real issue with the Wet n Wild setting spray. It smells a bit like hairspray not my favorite set, but it works, and it's cheap, so there you go, which is, yeah, I'm a cheapo, I've got my little empty here that's got water written all over it, because if I have to spray my brushes, I spray it with water, yeah, I'm a cheapie. That's the way I work. Now, I'm since I started doing these videos in August last year, God, that sounds so much farther back than it really is, um, I've gone through three or four of these little small setting spray bottles. The um, Elf one's only like a two ounce, and this one's like four ounces. So it's like little, little bottles. And... Do three or four videos a day and see what it gets you. Okay, next thing that I'm working on, I'm not anywhere near finished with this one, but it just, it, I got to tell you about this silly thing. I was looking for a new primer with a little more hydration because I have very dry skin and it's winter and I'm going, ew, I'm getting cranky. I, I, I need to take some of the dust out. So I'm going through one of the local discount stores and I saw this L'Oreal Age Perfect facial oil. Nifty stuff. At least it looked 
nifty. I mean, it's got an SPF 30 as part of the, the oil. It's got hydration in the oil. It works well as a primer on top of everything else. Now, I haven't, I've only marked this recently so I can keep track of using this up. Again, it's a reasonable product. It does what it says it'll do, but dear God, the stuff reeks. It's horrid. It's like if you take some suntan oil that has that suntan oil lotion smell going on, and you then add some floral stuff in it to amp it up so that it's really noticeable. Now, let the hairspray smell from the finishing spray. That goes away in a few seconds. Not this stuff. This stuff hangs on. And on. And on. Now, when I got it, I was not able to open it up at the store. It was a discount store that didn't have a bunch of samples laying around. I wasn't able to open it up and take a sniff until after I got home. And I'm going, dear God. Now, it's not, it's not like eau de skunk, okay? It's not that kind of wretched mess. But it's so strong and the scent lingers. It works. But when I get this thing finished up, not ever again. I don't understand makeup companies putting such strong scents into their products. I just, I don't get it. It makes no sense to moi. Alrighty. Wet n Wild Micellar Makeup Remover wonderful stuff. Little jar. The pump inside is one of those little flat pumps. You put your cotton pad on top and do this maneuver. But you can twist that little um, pump stand and lock it, which means you can travel with it without, it without the product getting all over everything. Or if you're like me, you're Grandson can't come in, decide it's some kind of interstellar weapon that he's, he's seen in a cartoon and start spraying the bathroom. Yeah. So much fun. Love my grandkids. They're so cute. And you just hang them on the wall. <laughs> now, I love that micellar water. It's not nearly as expensive as some of the other stuff. I can live with this. Um, but again, like the setting spray, you go through a lot when you start doing this, this filming thing. And I'm going, hmm, I've gone through three bottles of this already. And you don't need a lot. You can saturate one cotton round and take care of your whole face. It'll take off that, that nice waterproof mascara and everything else without a problem. Let's see, what's next? Oh yeah, this is a long name. Skin Nutrition's New York Age Defying Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. Let's say that one five times fast. Now this stuff is actually very, very, very good to me. It's one of those silly little wand things. It's got the little steel ball in the end with a little bit of the serum stuff. Mostly caffeine. I mean, you know, it's taking the puppies out from under your eyes. It dries down really quick. It's not sticky, which is wonderful. This is, I just bought my second of those since I started doing this. Now, down in the description, I've got a lot of Amazon links so you can go look at the stuff I'm talking about. 
This one, the, the, the age defying dark circle and puffiness serum, you have a choice. On Amazon, they're about seven bucks, which is not bad. But I get mine at Dollar Tree. I'll save six bucks. It doesn't bother me. You know, it's good enough stuff that if I didn't have these at Dollar Tree, I would be like going ahead and paying seven bucks. It's not that expensive and it works well. So I got no problem with this. And that, that steel ball, if you're having one of those big puffy eye mornings, that steel ball is nice and cool and it feels so good. Now, one of my other favoriteest things in the whole world is the set of eyelashes that I found on Shop Miss A, which is AOA Studio. Now, this is the Cara Beauty Lashes. This is the S2. And they're very, very, very tiny. And I like that because I got little squinky eyes that are all set back in all of this hooded stuff. And some of the bigger lashes with the longer fringes on them, just, they get hung up in like the corners here because of all that hooded stuff going on. These lashes are wonderful. They're great. They've got a very thin, very flexible band. It makes it very easy to actually get them on a position. You know, it's not one of those great quirky, huge, thick bands that, that just will not conform. Um, now, they're 100% human hair. Now, that squigs somebody. Yeah, some people just can't handle it. It's the, the, the byproduct of making human hair wigs. If you've got no problem with a human hair wig, it's the same dang thing. And at a dollar a pair, I'm not complaining. Shop Miss A is one of my favorite places to go to get bits and bobs and pieces and such. Like this lovely thing. This is one of my highlighting brushes. I'm still trying to get used to where the camera is. It is the F19 from AOA Studio. This pooch cost me a dollar. And it's beautiful. Look at this. It's thick. It's got plenty of bounce and resistance. But it's soft. So when you go to do your highlight, you just dust over. And it's beautiful. It's a good shape. It's a good size. But I've gotten several brushes through AOA. I've gotten several sponges through AOA. Now, AOA with some of their sponges, they have sponges that actually donate a little bit of the money they take in to um, animal welfare. And they've also got another line that they've started up that's going to be going towards education. And I'm going, yay, education. And the fact that they're taking care of animals makes me a happy, happy camper. It's not so bad. The, um, the sponges are wonderful. And let me tell you, $1.55 for a beauty sponge? Yeah, we can do this. Um, I'd rather pay that for one of those beauty sponges and let some of it go to animal welfare I mean, the sponges are not a whole lot different than any other sponge anywhere you've ever seen. I mean, they're all just sponges. Um, they've also got brush sets that are part of that. Now, you get a singular brush from them, it's a dollar, regardless of what kind of brush it is. I mean, I've got all make, manner, and description of brushes over here that I got for a dollar. I like that bit. They also do sets where they've got a large version 
of like a kabuki with a flat top and then a smaller version of the kabuki with a flat top and that one's two bucks yeah it's two brushes two bucks whatever they have a few things that are actually a little bit more expensive than a um, dollar but that's mostly some of their specialty um, single eyeshadows that kind of thing and those are like maybe two bucks for a really nice single eyeshadow the rest of the stuff on the site is a dollar and some of it is the same stuff you can pick up through aliexpress or god help me wish or some of the less expensive stuff on amazon i mean we've got clean color there's santi there's you know a little bit of everything um princessa um i can't remember all of them but the AOA Studio stuff is stuff that they're making specifically. And they have some fairly interesting eyeshadow palettes that are their studio line stuff, which is like an inch pan for, you know, a standard um, single. It's good stuff. It's worth the trouble. Let's see. Where are we? Okay. The AOA Studio Skinny Mascara. Dollar. See? AOA Studio. Now, this is the Skinny Mascara. Little, tiny, thin wand. Let me tell you, trying to get into these lower lashes with this tiny wand is a whole lot easier than taking a bigger wand and trying to stick it up under your eye into those little places with those little tiny fine lashes. Because I got them itty bitties. I mean, you know, who wants to stick a, a Maybelline Lash Temptation brush up in these little fine lashes here? Yep. The Skinny Mascara, it's a dollar. I've been using the same mascara that I bought from them in September. And it's only just now starting to go dry on me. And I use it constantly. So, yeah, it's good stuff. Give it a look. It's just shop Miss A and the computer will take you right to her. Let's see, what am I left with? Because I think I've only got one. Oh, yeah. My Wet n Wild Pressed Powder. There you go. A actual panned powder. Yes. I have been wearing this thing out since I got started doing this. Okay. okay. I'm probably going to pick up a different powder just because this is the only one I've used since I've been doing the videos. So I'm thinking about looking at one of the other ones. I may pick up an Elf. I may pick up one of the AOA Studios or, you know, a Milan. It could be anything. But let me guarantee you, it's still going to be drugstore. <sighs> Guess what? That's it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that I was talking about and want to get anything, you know, any more in-depth information, send me a comment. I'll see what I can do to answer you. I hope you enjoyed the new camera, which definitely looks a lot better than the phone. Yeah, this is a good thing. And hopefully I will get some of the rest of the videos that I'm going to try to do up and filmed and all that other lovely stuff so that there's not such a long break again. I missed you guys. I mean, really. I mean, I've had a couple of fairly good conversations with some of the people that I've been talking to. And yes, I promise, I promise, by the end of January, this watermark banner thing will finally be gone. Okay? Okay. Got this? Yeah. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Come back and play. 
hit the little bell so that they tell you when I've done something new. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. It makes me happy. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to anyway you to death here tonight. Have a good time. Behave yourselves. Be good. See you next time.